In today's breaking news, Ripple and Stella are about to change the game, changing the lives of people forever. But quickly, before I get into this, we have some more breaking news. Coinbase has just won a lawsuit confirming that trading cryptocurrencies on its platform does not violate securities laws. This is huge news. Gary Gensler just cannot catch a break. The loss for the SEC is once more a colossal win for Coinbase, Ripple and quite frankly the whole of the crypto industry. In the words of Ripple's Chief Legal Officer Stuart Olderotti, so if I have this straight, there is no exchange act liability without a contract that can be rescinded. No contract means no liability. So it seems that the days of Gary Gensler tiptoeing around the law has come to an end. And with Coinbase getting major clarity that secondary market sales of crypto aren't securities, this gives Ripple's precedent to support XRP secondary sales and therefore could inject significant optimism into Ripple XRP's market. We are now many weeks, days, maybe even hours away now from getting a settlement deal, a decisive victory and XRP making history once again. But they aren't the only ones as we can hear in this massive interview with Jeremy Allaire CEO of Circle and Daniel Dixon CEO of Stella. Daniel explains how 1.7 billion people are still unbanked and with stablecoin regulations on the cusp of becoming a reality through MICA and as well keep in mind with the recent Ripple announcement of a stablecoin on the XRP ledger both XRP and XLM are about to change the game and change people's lives forever. 1.7 billion adults globally uh, are unbanked. And so from our standpoint, if you think about that number, but then you juxtapose that with two thirds of them actually have mobile devices. Right. And so if we can actually take those two numbers and put them together and try to solve that problem. Yeah. Yeah. Like you can then, you can see where the value of something like this can happen um, and, and folks can get access to it. So for us, we tried to synthesize our mission into that one sentence, uh, creating equitable access to the global financial system. So that's our core focus is to work with regulators to get them comfortable with right. blockchain generally and to get them to understand that this is actually enhancing their system and their uh, ability to be able to provide even more access to their constituents.